Good evening, YTPC. Let me move my mic here a little bit. Wanted to do a public service announcement. But first, some as we would say, housekeeping. I am smoking my Barra pipe that I picked up off of Bishop's Pipes. It's a 9 mil. Look at the grain on that. Very narrow top, deep bowl, and a wide bowl, so you can get a lot in there. And in it, I'm smoking some skiff mixture for the first time in this pipe. It actually tastes pretty good. But I didn't let it dry long enough. So, anyhow. I won a gall. I'm so happy. I won TPI, Mark's gall, and I'm thrilled to death. I'm one of the winners. I never win. I never win any galls. So I'm so happy to be a, a winner on that. Mark, I sent you an email because um, I know you emailed me. I know I'm, I apologize. You know what? This pipe's because it's empty already. I was smoking for a little while. So let me do this. Let me repack this pipe as I talk. Anyhow, Mark, I got your email. Sorry, I wasn't around the phone much today. Uh, well, I should say on the phone much today, purposely, because I needed to take care of some things that needed to get done. So I was a very busy man today. And uh, I didn't get to... Uh, Man, this holds a lot of tobacco. For for you know, you see this this pipe. I'll show it to you again. It's very narrow at the top, right? Well, look how wide the bowl is at the bottom. See, it holds probably as much as my Sven board. So let me light them up. And then so anyhow so over the past couple of weeks this person had been lurking on my videos and my stuff like that and he was going by the green giant piper don't know if any of you know this guy don't even know if he's real and then I get an email from him and said hey uh, how are we gonna do the trade on your unopened tin of Sun Bear and I don't remember ever saying that I would do a trade for Sun Bear so because if I trade, it's, you know, I trade tobacco for tobacco. So I'll tell you what he, you know, just, just come pull it up. So he sent me. I mean, I can't, can't understand. <sighs> Gives me this story about his life and stuff and everything. So, I don't know if this guy's real or not. Because he did not respond back. Alright? So, he sends me this email. 
about a trade, which I don't remember ever agreeing to a trade on anything. Here it is. So he gives me his name and his address in Edmonton, I guess New Brunswick, Canada, I guess. And he was going to send me for my pipe filter and Peterson zip. I don't, and I don't remember this. So he was going as all one word, Green Giant Piper, on YouTube. Speaks very broken English. Then he emails me to tell me that he changed his name to Black Phoenix. I'm trying to find the email on it. Um, let me do it this way. Because I want you all to be aware he changed his name to Black Phoenix um, on Gmail or on um, YouTube, I'm looking for it, and he spelled it with different case letters, and all this, capital B, capital L, capital A, or capital B, lowercase L, A, capital C, K, um, Phoenix, you know, very peculiar, so, here's what I do know. One, it's illegal to send tobacco to Canada. Without a dealer's license. Two, If I don't know you, I'm not trading. Um, if I don't know you well enough on you, I'm not trading. You know, this guy popped up on a number of videos and made comments, came in on a live, and apparently changed his name to Black Phoenix. So I looked it up under that exact uppercase, lowercase, and I looked up Green Giant Piper, which is no longer no, not on YouTube. I looked up Black Phoenix. Under that, now this guy goes, is a French Canadian, has a French Canadian, Remy Andre Levesque, I think Levesque U or whatever, I don't know. And I look up exactly how he had it, uppercase, lowercase, and I go in here and I find this guy, and it's a guy from America who, his name is not Remy, and I sent him a message via through one of his videos and said hey are you the guy that's contacted me about trading pipe tobacco and right away I get a response and said that's not me I have no idea what you're talking about so I said someone's using your name and your YouTube your YouTube name and trying to get over on one so either this guy's a scammer is what I'm warning you about he's either a scammer Or he's a postal inspector, undercover, trying to nail pipe smokers for sending tobacco. So, internationally. I don't know. I don't know. Those are my two guesses. So, I'm just warning you all, be very careful who you're dealing with. 
know who you're dealing with. I don't think it's illegal to send tobacco to each other. You're not exchanging money in the United States. But I know that you have to have a license to send to Canada. And I even contacted the post office and UPS. And they both told me the same thing. You cannot mail that unless you have a tobacco dealer's license. So just be warned, this guy's either a scammer or... Uh, you know, like they do those undercover operations to bust people for illegal stuff. So I don't know what he is. Um, if he's a, uh, an undercover law enforcement doing his job, kudos to you. Hey, you're doing your job. But I basically I answered back and I said this. Um, I, s I emailed him back and said, please do not send me out the Zippo lighter or whatever it is you were sending as I went, uh, as I will not be sending you tobacco. Um, I do not have a dealer's license and I do not send tobacco internationally. I'm a man of integrity. do not want to do anything illegal. Sorry if it's, con if it's an inconvenience to you, but if you've already mailed that, whatever, if, it, if the guy's legit and he mailed the stuff, I'll send it back. I said, but I just cannot afford the fines and the costs, and that's a risk I'm not willing to take. I will not do anything illegal. Um, so just be warned on that. Other than that, It's been a, we got up to 80 today. And archery season is going on right now. So it's terrible for the hunters. Um, I can't hunt. I can't. I can't draw back with, with you know, everything that's going on with me, you know. Well, my daughter said she, you know, they went tonight. They didn't. Oh, who hurts? Um, and they didn't see anything. So, but Mark, I'm thrilled to death. TPI. I'm looking forward to getting the pipe. I'm just happy as, you know, kid at Christmas. You know, um, thrilled, thrilled to death. But be careful, folks, of this gentleman. Or woman. I don't know. I don't know who they are. He did not respond to my email. That I was not sending anything. So I'm assuming. Either a scammer. Or he's some type of police. Postal police. That. Um, I used to work with postal inspectors. Um, well I knew some. I guess I could say I worked with them. I knew them because I worked at the post office for a while. And they would do this sort of stuff all the time. Undercover sting operations is what they called it. So just beware. Um, Mike Briar Blues can tell you. Um, you, you, can't, you. You can't ship out of Canada. You can't ship into Canada. Doesn't matter. Even if it's free, you can't. You can't send it to. It, you just can't do it. Um, which kind of sucks for the Canadians, but so I'm not going to do any fancy editing. I'm just going to upload this right away and get it out to you. And uh, Cheeseburger79 did get a hold of me, so you and Smokin', I have got to clean. I want to clean those pipes really good. I want to get the boxes. I'm looking for the best because you guys are international. One's Australia, one's Israel. 
Now I've got to find the best price for shipping overseas because I don't want it to cost a fortune because the boxes are, um, there's there's a lot to go on. Those pipe racks is what is going to take up the most space. So, um, so just give me some time and I'll get you your stuff. Um, and the first prize, Cheeseburger 79, you did, you did get a Boswell's card, $50 gift card. I'm going to make sure that Boswell's ships internationally. If they don't, I will check and see if Pipes and Cigars will, and I'll get you a Pipes and Cigars $50 gift card. Um, but I'm pretty sure Boswell's ships overseas, but I want to, I want to double check before. So, anyhow, folks. You all have a great evening. Be aware of who you're dealing with on here. Make sure you know them well before you decide to do anything. I was kind of red flags from the beginning because I, I got a good memory and I don't recall ever saying I trade the Sun Bear. I love the Sun Bear. I only have two tins of it. One of them is open and it's, and it's only about a quarter of the way down. So I don't recall ever saying I get rid of the Sun Bear. So, anyhow, have a blessed evening. God loves you. I love you. Light them up.